I need everybody from the Love is Blind casting. I need Netflix, all of y'all, to step forward because we got beef. Okay? We got a lot of beef. I feel like y'all are wasting my girl's time. Y'all have this archetype of the men that y'all choose. And we're going to get into it right about now. But first, I need y'all to hit that like. Y'all watching my videos, but y'all not staying. Okay? I need y'all to stay. Because we need to beat this algorithm. And I need to hit that, that 10,000. We're going to do it, but y'all need y'all to stay. Okay? Now, I'm very upset right now. Y'all feel my energy? You feel me? Okay? Because I feel like this season, I'm seeing it. The archetype that y'all choose. Okay? And I'm feeling like my girl Demi is about to get her heart broken. Ollie, once again, another man. Okay? I see the clan him. Yes, I see the bar stolen him. Bartiste, I see it in him. I see the Jarrett in him. Okay. I feel like y'all have this archetyped. Yeah, I want I'm talking straight to the people over there. Maybe somebody might see my video. Y'all have an archetype that y'all choose. Attractive, good on the eyes, charismatic, okay, the charm. Says all the things, the right things that they think that we as an audience want to hear. Okay. But you know what? The one thing they all really have in common? Emotionally unavailable. I'm seeing it. I feel like I'm getting that right now from Ollie. The same thing I've seen in Clay and AD. The same thing I've seen in Ayana and Jared. The same thing. These girls come on this show. They want real love. They want to... Prince Charming, I want to find my king that I can build with. I want to find somebody who can hold space for me. But once again, it's happening. The same thing that always happens. I like to call these the time wasters. Okay? The men that come into your life and show you, oh, they're present. They say all the right things. Motherfucking time wasters. Okay, the men who you gonna sit on my couch be trying to heal from. Why does Netflix continue to choose these men who are not gonna really do nothing with themselves in the long term? Okay, and what I see once again is a man step into a relationship who emotionally probably isn't ready, but this relationship is gonna come a vessel for me to heal, for me to become a better man for somebody else. And I think a lot of women can relate to being there for the man when they're low, sometimes broke, trying to figure out themselves, their careers. Okay, you become the fixer. It becomes a project. Some of y'all consciously know that you are the fixer and other people are like, uh, but it feels good, okay? And so you end up in a situation where you're putting all of your work, your energy, your effort into this relationship. And now as a therapist, I will admit relationships are work but they should not feel like work. If you want them to run long-term, sort of like a car, you gotta put in maintenance, you gotta check on it. You gotta make sure it's good. But I feel like with Demi and Ollie this season of the Love is Blind UK, it just feels like she, he's wasting her time, okay? And I want her to find real love. And I saw somewhere her saying that she was a little naive to the experience. I think a lot of these people are because they really go in thinking, they're really going to find love. It's really going to be genuine people out there. And the one thing that they have going against them is this wall. That wall takes away emotions. Okay. The body language, the things you can pick up when you are talking to someone, you can see how they're reacting, how they're emoting their words. It stops at the wall. Okay. So you fall for the things floating through the wall, the things you're thinking, you're hearing. Maybe you really are hearing. But throughout the season, we see like, oh, yeah, those are real, really red flags. They weren't yellow, they were red. And I think once again, we're in that same situation. And I watch it like, girl, why? Why do you gotta do sis like that? We already don't have a lot of people of color, women in particular. You know, we saw the cast photo. We saw the Netflix strong black lead. We saw them. And what they become? Background caricatures. 
We saw the restaurant chore. Sure. I think we saw another girl who was, I think, a nurse in the background, like we always do. So Demi was the saving grace. And you know what? As a therapist, I gotta give it to you both sides. Okay. I do see on Demi's side there is there's some insecurity. There's some things to be work on, some things to be to heal from. I see it, y'all. And I know y'all don't come in the comments and say, well, she needs to work on herself. Don't tell another woman what she needs to work on unless she asks you. Can we do that? Can we? But it just feels like the AD situation. I think there was another girl. I can't remember what season she was. But she was with the guy who um, is trying to sue and playing a victim that he can't find a job. I can't remember her name. But she was also very insecure. And we just see how there's these archetypes. Every season, we see the same archetypes sometimes from the women's side and the men. In this situation, I'm like, damn, this really reminds me of Ayana and Jared, Clay and AD, Bartiste. We see it unraveling right before our eyes. And I'm like, at what point do we try something different? But this is what gets raised. And we are only four episodes deep. So things could change, but looking at them previews, I'm seeing he also might be a runner when confronted, when things get spicy, and you want somebody who can hold space for you. And I'm just not sure that he knows what holding space looks like. I'm not sure he can receive the responsibility of holding space. And she's very vulnerable and transparent about what she is going through to a man who cannot, to me so far, it looks like he can hold that space. And people have to recognize and realize when they are wasting their vulnerability on the wrong person. You're healing, you're working on yourself, you're learning to be more transparent, learn, learn to be more vulnerable, but you might be learning all those things, but can your partner hold that? So don't do all this work for somebody who is not. Ask yourself in your relationship, what does space look like? What does holding space for me look like for him? How do we create space in our relationship for vulnerability? A lot of people don't think about that. The thing about looks, do they got money, where they are in their career, what's their potential. But there are these layers, these foundational things that you need to think about in your relationship. Trust, communication, vulnerability. Do you feel safe? And I don't mean necessarily physically safe, but emotionally safe. Can you trust this person through those harder times? Can they hold space for you? Are they going to be there? Are you somebody who doesn't even know what that looks like because you never had it before it that's a possibility also but i feel like i'm seeing i'm noticing the pattern the trend even though this is the uk version these people have been more emotionally attuned more emotionally stable having more emotional intelligence we're all human right so are things that we're going to be missing that we don't really know we're missing until it's pointed out but it just feels like here we go again am i about to get apparently 11 episodes is that 10 and i don't get 11 episodes of this man going back and forth with her <sighs> and for those of you who are saying in my comments on tiktok i can see why she got friend zoned i love when people just love to put their their own trauma into the comments the hurt you've been through the things you have not healed from in the comment section because i'm like damn I, a lot of people need to be sitting on the couch. I can see the microaggression. I can see their hurt coming up in the comments, okay? But I just wanted to talk about how Netflix feels like they're choosing these archetypes of men. And I need casting to get better for women and for men. But at this point, it feels like heartbreak is on the horizon. And I'm sure we'll all be here throughout this season. But of course... What do you guys think? Is it just me? Do you know that there's an archetype? Have you seen the same pattern of men consistently showing up physically, but not emotionally? Can you relate to Demi or Ollie in some of your own relationships? And do you know what it looks like to create emotional space, a healthy space, safeness in your relationship? Now, I need y'all to stick around, like, Turn on the notifications, help a sister out. And you know, you, you can always buy me a little bit of Starbucks, send me a little super chats, okay? But I will see you guys in the next video. All right.
Bye. And don't forget, therapy is always the answer. Bye.